Here we are at 100 Mile House Motel in RV Park. Surprise, surprise, it's 30 amp water and sewer. I did not expect this. Because according to Camp Badium, Camp Badium, it was supposed to be 20 amp water, no sewer. So, this is a nice, pleasant surprise. And look behind us, it's, it's a little porous. And there's no one behind us. So it's kind of nice. There's a little forest back here. I like this because it's not muddy. They've got this pebbly pea stone and in the little grass area over here. It's actually a nice park. And the uh, border around it is longer term people. And if you look at real close where the water is, there is a, an electrical outlet there. So if you want to put a heater through your garden hose, you can do that. So the perimeter of the park are the longer stay people. And the office manager was super polite, helpful, nice. Uh, everything very sweet and pleasant about checking in. Yeah, I, look at this. They, they've got green space with benches and or picnic tables and I like this park. So would we stay here again? The answer would be a definite yes so far. I have not had any issues but we need to do laundry. <laughs> We're out of socks. Walter's wearing my ankle lit socks and he's not really happy about it. So we need to do laundry or at least socks. So probably do three loads and then to, when we get to Catchy Creek, I don't even know where we're going next. We're gonna go um, do more laundry, probably the bed sheets and the, the rugs. But I'm gonna go check out the facilities now to take a look. But isn't this cute? I like it. I like this park. It's all pebbly. There's no mud anywhere. So I guess the shorter term people are in the middle. Pull through. And it's a pull through. I don't have to detach. Okay, we tried to go to the visitor center, but they are closed on the weekends. Why would a visitor center be closed on the weekends? That makes no sense. Weekends. They're closed. Information. We're going to walk around. Giant, giant ski poles over here. Okay, we're trying to decide where to eat tonight. There's several, this is all walking distance from the RV park. There's Chinese, there's Vietnamese, there's Jap Japanese, there's pizza, there's a pub, there's a buffet, and there's a redneck grill. Is that what it's called? No, gourmet Burger Rednecks. Gourmet Burger Rednecks. So, gourmet burgers for rednecks. So we're gonna walk over here to the 100 Mile Marsh. Not Arizona. Here's the mosquito breeding ground for this area. Does it say what that is? Nope. We don't know what these contraptions are. I don't think that's a children's playground. Oh, and look, there's an airport over here. Here's the airport. 
It's got tires. It's got tracks on it. Yeah, probably some mining thing. Oh, look at that. There's plants in the marshes. We're not going to get that close. I don't want to get bit by a mosquito. Okay, so that's essentially 100 mile. There's a the town ends over there. Where the RV park and motel that we're at is pretty much in the center of town. I couldn't have picked a more convenient location. It's wonderful. 